Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. Once again we are jumping in and we are going to go and play as the scythe wielding maniac himself, Samuel, Samuel, whatever his name is. Wherever he is, there he is. Okay, I do want to play the tainted version at some point, but I need to get a thumbnail all worked out for him um, at some point. So we'll get to that at some point, but we'll play as the regular version because he's a lot of fun regardless and we'll see what we can do here. Uh, with the update to this guy, he's a lot better now anyways, so it's still very fun to play as him. Stop picking up more heads, you fool. And we will see exactly what we can do. Of course, with this guy, as we know now, range upgrades are going to be of imperative importance. I ain't taking bum friend. He is the worst ever. The worst to ever live. Good, good, good. This has been a speedy floor so far, and we can grab that. Uh, grab that, which is a deceiver heart. Nice. I need to just do a tainted, um, tainted eyes, uh, tainted characters run where I just go and get unlock all of the vanilla tainted characters. Because I'm still a ways off doing that, and it's important for many reasons, but mainly because there's some unlocks that I really want. Bad hits there, unfortunately. Beautiful. Very nice kill. Hey, one of like these hearts, for example. These hearts are fantastic. Right. Uh, let's go alt path. Why not? Ooh, oh, <laughs> I walked in when I saw those things spawn. I could have got some extra swag there. Sadly not. But as for today's question of the day, I'm doing multiple videos in a day, which always makes questions of the day a little bit harder to think of. Um, dun, 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 dun. What's, a, what's an event in, in like public that you've witnessed that you couldn't believe? What's something that you saw happen that you were just like absolutely gobsmacked at? I've had a few um, living in Manchester um, and in the Manchester area. Uh, there's quite a few various things that have happened um, around me. Ooh, foul gut is just good. I'll take that. There's quite a few various things that have happened um, on the on the tram into town because I live like sort of outside of uh, of, of like. Manchester Centre. Center. I'm not going to obviously divulge exactly where, but I live... Greater Manchester is huge. I'm, I don't, I'm not worried about giving out that information. Um, but um, on the way into the town centre, I was on the tram, and there was just a dude, like, openly talking about how he was going to go to someone's house to stab someone. Like, on the phone, he was just openly discussing, like, how he was, like, getting ready to go and shank someone up. Um, I've had... I've had it before where I've got on the tram and one time this this, this was this was a point where I, I genuinely was slightly fearful for my life. Um, a man got onto the tram with a very large plastic bag full of fireworks onto a compact train and he very clearly had like matches and like lighter fluid in the bag too. Um, like you, it was see-through, you could see them in there. And I was shitting myself. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get off of the train once the tram one stop early and walk to the train station. Because I was getting the train to go back home when I used to live with my parents. Because I'd been visiting my girlfriend. So I was like, okay, I'll get off a stop early and I'll walk just in case. And I did. And I then get on my train and sit down. And who sits not a few seats before me? The exact same guy that I saw. He literally sat a few seats in front of me. Um, still with his bag. I'm like, why? Why? Why is this person allowed on public transport and why is no one doing anything about it? Come on now. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go angel deal here. I was like, come on. Who's allowing this? Who? Also, uh, we have... Oh, we've done... No, we have... Okay, we've done mother, but apparently not in hard mode, which I don't believe. Um... I guess I'll just go do Dark Path then or something. Now nah, I'll do I'll do Light Path and I'll, I'll try and unlock Isaac because I still need to get my Isaac kills. So I'll do Light Path. Okay, nice. Need to remember to use my ranged attack when I can. Good. I just love how speedy this guy is. You can just like. Absolutely rinse through the first few floors. It's kind of like playing as Tainted Lilith, where it's just like the first few floors, you're just so strong that you just breeze through them, and it's, it's really enjoyable to do. 
Sun card isn't bad. Not bad at all. I'm liking all the rotten hearts I've got going on right now. They are helping a lot. Ow, what the fuck hit me then? Purple putty has appeared in the basement. Alrighty then. I'm guessing that's getting so many kills with the little buddies. Right, through here we go. Snake! Yes! I love Snake! Come to me, Snake. Now we have some range as well. It's just a snake of our tears and it adopts our tear effects. It's very fun. Very fun. I, I imagine it's insane with piercing. I might be able to get this to pop. You need seven coins normally, but sometimes you can get it pop early. Damn it. One more coin. One more coin for the road. Damn you, game. Yeah. Don't worry about this guy. Hoping for a fire rate right up here. No fire rate right up, but get some bombs and a black heart. And a trinket that we don't have yet, nice. And a very, very good active. You know what, why not? Why not go for the angel kill? You'll see the snake just kind of devours itself there. A oh, bomb? How did you manage to go all the way over there? Come on now, bomb. And how? also, how did I get hit there? God damn it. Maybe the snake respawns to me getting hit. That seems to be what happened there. Oh no, it just respawns all the time. Give me that key piece for better angel deals. Right, let's go. Good to go. Item room right off the bat. What do you hold for me? The alpha coin. 25% chance to spawn a coin. Oh my god. 25% chance to spawn a card slash pill. A variety of effects based on the current room and exploration. I mean, it's more fun than the book. Do you know what? Spin down shard. I will certainly take. Uh, pop the sun card now. I don't even know if I've got the spin down shard unlocked. Do you know what? This seems pretty good. It's giving me some good stuff. Um, yeah, I realize I'm taking some dumb damage here. Just, just, just leave it be. It's fine. Honestly, snake plus flies can deal with this room. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. Okay, just a penny that time. I'm hoping we can get, um, it's, I can't remember the item now. There's a few items you can get from the boss that, that give you really good items. One of them is Sacred Heart. Is it Toothpicks that gives you Sacred Heart? It might be. Honestly, this is pretty sick. Good. Go, Snake, go. Nice one, Snake. Thank you. And honestly, all the flies. Falgo, you are just too good to me. Okay. Come on, toothpicks. Give us those toothpicks. Snake oil. That's going to give us the odd stone. I think we'll just take snake oil. In fact, okay, snake oil did work for making our scythe bigger, I believe. And also our snake tier thingy. Okay, snake oil is pretty good as this character. 
A snake oil that actually works. Wow. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Right, jump ahead. I'm really enjoying this character. It's a lot of fun. Oh, for God's sake, there's creep there. We lost one of our rotten hearts. No. Our DPS is going down, 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 down. Got that half soul heart there, that's nice. Holy shit, yeah, our scythe is pretty huge now, okay. I like that a lot. And yeah, was, even though it doesn't make any difference, our snake just being massive. It's just satisfying, isn't it? We definitely need a damage up. Damage is a bit lacking right now. Damage is a bit lacking. Like, the champions are just taking quite many swings to kill. I should be using Malak Mot a little more as well, to be honest. Like, in rooms like this. Ow. Ow. Double the coins. Lovely. Right. Come on, just give me something that's going to make my spin down crazy useful. That's all I ask. Come on, little scythe-wielding maniacs. My little buddies, my little friends. Look at them go. They're beautiful. They can't even reach him. That's so funny. Oh, they're trying. Little cuties, they're trying. Don't, don't be so harsh on them. They're giving it their best shot. Shop is here and we do have enough money. I keep thinking I'm playing Tarnished Isaac now and I'm like, oh, I can only carry eight items. That ain't true, boy. Uh, is that a trinket that's been sold there? Why are trinkets being sold now? Is that another, is that something else I also unlocked from playing as Tarnished Keeper? I haven't actually had a look at the Tarnished characters unlocks. I really should take a look at them. Probably some good stuff in there that I ought to know about. Oh, item room, where are you? This is definitely a Malik Mott situation. There's too much going on in this room for me to have to worry about dealing with it all. What the hell are you doing? That noise is distracting. Oh my god. Dude, this guy's got so much health, fucking die. That's what I mean, like, our damage is just, like, not okay right now. Really gonna spawn one of these guys? Why? Range up, look down. Okay, the range up's really nice actually, so do not mind that. Slightly bigger scythe. Spin down. Will you will you be useful on this day, brother Bobby? Into. It's actually not bad, but I need something I need something big. I need something that's gonna be kinda of game changing. That that isn't it. I want something really, really cool. To set me out from the rest. One thing to, to remember with Malik Mott is it's not worth using until the boss starts attacking, because most bosses kind of have like a period. Like, right at the start of the fight where they just don't do anything for a while. Oh, dude. Whatever this bouncing thing is, it's wrecking me right now. Holy shit. Okay. Need more damage. I know I gave up one of the matter, but ooh. Golden item here. So this should be plus two heart containers plus one damage. And that it is. Very cool. Golden items. Like I said, this here may be a bit too common, but... Right, let's have a look. This is where spin down could come in handy. 
So the sign sets damage to seven before multiply as regards to prior damage. Damage that's obtained after picking up will uh, will still be added. So that's, a, that's plus two damage. That would... I literally don't know what that would spin into. Same with that. Why with all these crazy long descriptions? Job's family is pretty good, though. Um, spawns, Job's wife and three familiars. Wife fires, players te um, fires tears. Um, I don't know. This is, like, that's, that's plus two damage. That's pretty decent. I think I'm going to take this, though. I think I'm going to take the family. And then let me try something here. Oh, dude, bomb. Just drift away from me, thanks. I think, I think if I remember rightly, I can get something good here. Dude, bombs are just not doing what I want them to at all today. Right. Yes. There you go, baby. I'm slightly, slightly salty. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's our snake. I'm slightly salty that um, the scythe doesn't have like a special interaction or synergy form with the scythe item. But um, let's let's just leave that as it is. Yeah, our snake is going to be... Remember, it's got piercing now too, so... It's going to be doing quite a number. Multi-dimensional baby. This conjoined. Yeah. Oh, it does actually give us extra sides as well. Like, fake sides. Definitely more fire rate now, though. Things have gotten interesting. Things have taken a cool turn. Honestly, visually with Snake, things are a little bit messy right now. But we'll just leave it at that. It just is what it is. <clears throat> Very hard to understand what's happening right now. Dude, my snake. Stop. Goddamn stop. Right. And here we just got you. <clears throat> God damn the snake. I can't see anything. I can't see anything, snake. Why are you like this? He wants all the attention. I found the boss lovely. <laughs> oh, it's just wacky. Good, good. We've already done boss rush, haven't we? We have, but let's at least check it out. Honestly, there's nothing there that interests me, so I'm cool to leave. Go into the dark path, baby. No, no, we're not going to do dark path. I don't know. This guy's got some cool unlocks, so like... I do want to do Dark Path because we haven't done it yet, but we do Dark Path so often I really need to unlock, like, Blue Baby. But visually this run's going to be kind of difficult. It's kind of hard to know what the hell's going on. Things keep getting respawned as well here, that's not good. Yeah, the multi-dimensional baby's definitely making things worse, too. Okay. Oh, that almost hit me. Hello, Brimstoney boys. Yeah, I just can't. I can't see what's incoming. I just can't. It's not plausible. Especially with these bloody enemies that keep firing shots at me. You can just, like, leave me alone. Oh my god, I'm gonna die so fast here, aren't I? Fuck me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going down very, very quickly, I think. 
Visually, it's just the mess is just too much. I don't even know what hit me then. Oh god, I've taken so much damage already. I realise I can throw my spear as well though, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. I'm sure there's a few of you shouting, just use your spear at range, your scythe at range, just throw it. I'm, no. No. I will not. I refuse. Too bad. Ooh, extra range and damage. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay, okay. Again, just gotta hope we're going the right way here. No idea what's going on right now yet. I just can't focus on anything right now. Snake, you big fuck. It needs a limited tier size. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit too crazy right now. Literally, I literally have no idea what's going on in that corner there. Okay, it looks like we won't be going to, uh... <clears throat> looks like we won't be going to that floor because... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. So I don't have that much damage and I can't fucking see. Okay, that was useful. That was a room that could have saved our life there. Look down again. Look down shouldn't matter too much, I don't think. Dude, I didn't know you did that. Right, we've got the range to stay decently far back from you. Honestly, just... Dude, Snake, why? I used to love you. I gave you everything. Okay. Just one more floor. Just one more floor. That's all we gotta do. Can we do it? Let's find out. <laughs> Damn it, Snake. Get out of my face. I guess maybe just sit back and let Snake do some work. That might be how we have to do this. Just sit back, let Snake do its thing. And then get on with our day. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Monstro, what are you up to? Are your shenanigans. Okay. I, I just hope we don't have to go the wrong way a thousand times before we find where we're going here. Void Blood Machine isn't very useful for us right now. More health the merrier, but as you can see, I'm an idiot and just walk straight into walls. What the hell? Oh god. I don't really know how to fight this guy. Circle of protection. Thank you, I guess. Might come in handy. Oh, God. I have little to no idea what I'm meant to be doing in this room. Thank God it's over. I 
God damn it, give me some health, game. I know you've already given me so much and I've squandered it all, but please. Just a little bit more. A little bit more for me to squander, please. I got Sacred Heart there. I got something else. I got the wafer. Potentially good for now. Kind of wish I'd have saved it, but what's done is done. Let me out your trap little bubble. Oh, we got war here. Come on, I want to use this disc on the boss, please. Right, good. We just needed the wafer for a little bit here. Just a little bit of the fight. And Malik Mott's ready again. We got it! Holy shit, we sliced his head right clean off. Bag of bones. I very much don't think we're going to the void here. We're going to end the run there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.